next guy, it's so nice to see him again. He's been in one of our classes before, and he's come back, and man, it's, it's always a pleasure to bring him to the stage. I know you guys are going to enjoy him. How about a big round of applause for Dominic Azevedo, Robert Harris! Thank you, thank you. Give it up one more time for Andy. So I trust my wife. I love her, she's my best friend, but I found out recently I can't trust her to do one thing. Put the itinerary together for when my Boomba buddies come to visit from Jersey. See, she's into fitness, culture, health. These are foreign words to my buddies. And for those of you who are wondering, what the hell is a Boomba? Let me give you something. Else. If every guy in your wedding party's name was Tony, you're pretty much a Boomba. <laughs> If you have a daytime sweatsuit and a nighttime sweatsuit, you're pretty much a woman. And if your wife and your girlfriend are cousins, you're definitely a woman. So the Goombas come in on a Friday, we meet them for dinner, and my wife says, hey guys, come to the house tomorrow, we're going to take a hot yoga class. Now think about this. You got Fat Lou, Ricky Double D, The Hook, and The Shrimp. Take it hot yoga. So they show up. They're all wearing black velvet sweatsuits. I don't know if they're going on a hit or to a funeral. But I noticed Fat Lou who's showered and shaved. I said, Lou, do you shower? Freaking A, I did. I'm like, why? We're taking a yoga class. He's like, oh, stop the clock right there, my friend. You said, Hot yoga, right? Yeah. Ricky D tells me that means there's going to be a lot of hot girls there. No, look, it's going to be hot. So then the shrimp jumps on me. Yo, Dom. The hook says I got to do dog poses. Down dog, dog poses. I ain't no dog. I don't do dog poses. I might do doggy style every now and then, but I don't do dog poses. Gabish. Forget it. Let's go. So we get to the yoga class, halfway through, they're all sweating like pigs, so bad. They all stand up, unzip their jackets, throw them in the corner, and what? They're all wearing white beater t-shirts in a room filled with soccer moms. <laughs> Thank God they were clean, no grave stains. You never know what We get finished with yoga, I tell them, hey guys, be ready, I'm gonna pick you up, 1.30, we're gonna go to the Ringling. We get there, 10 minutes in, Double D comes over to me. Yo, cuz, I don't see no elephants. I don't see no clowns. What kind of joint is this? Like, it's the freaking wriggling, you knucklehead. Get out of here. Third thing on the agenda, I had to get the kill switch. My wife made dinner reservations at a vegan restaurant. Now, taking me, Fat Lou, Double D, the hook and the shrimp, to a vegan restaurant would be like taking the Pope to a strip club. <laughs> so it was a great weekend, but it ended on a bad note. I lost my ATM card. So I had to dial the 1 800 number, Bank of America. And this is what I get Hello, this is Johnny. How is your day going? <laughs> Day's not going too good, Johnny. I lost my ATM card. No worries, no worries. What's his number? <laughs> Johnny, I just told you I lost the card. I don't have the number. <laughs> Okie dokie, what's his name? Dominic Azevedo. Please spell. D D O O M M. This goes on for my whole name. The next thing out of his mouth is, very good. Now please spell first name. Johnny, I just told you my name was Dominic Azevedo. I just spelled Dominic. What the hell's going on? I need a supervisor. So my wife over here says she takes the phone. As the patients of a saint, phone 10 minutes later. New cards on its way. But I thought about it. I wonder how long it would take Johnny to get frustrated if he thought he was calling a service department in India, but it was transferred to Jersey where some of my Goomba <laughs> were. This is what he would get. Hey, how you doing? It's Abdullah. What's your beef? Oh, no, no beef. I don't eat beef. I'm vegetarian. <laughs> what? You called the hotline. What's your beef? No, I have no beef. I'm vegetarian. <laughs> I have a big problem. Yeah, what's your problem? I cannot get cell phone to work. Well, did you 
put in the code? No, I have no code. Yeah, write this down. Tree, 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 tree. Trees. No, I have no trees. I live in desert. I don't eat meat. But may I please speak to a supervisor? Yeah, hold on one second. Yo, Frank A. There's an Indian guy on the phone. He wants to talk to a supervisor. Can you take it? Yeah, sure. Hey, how you doing? It's Mohammed. What's your beef? Oh, Lordy, I can't take this. I must get my wife. Thank you very much.